Hello everyone. So we are going to start with basically the installation of first, uh, how exactly we do the Python. So uh, this session is to um, have the prerequisite done. So we'll go ahead with first the Python installation. We'll follow the respective steps. So first we go ahead and just type in Python download and we get a respective link. As you can see in my current screen, this is the download Python, python.org. We'll just go ahead over here. In your case, this is the uh, latest Python that you have to uh, download. In case if you have other OSs, you can click on Windows and Mac OS and choose a respective environment for the respective installation. Otherwise, we can quickly follow the process of downloading the Python from here. So as you can see, I've just uh, downloaded the respective Python and we'll go ahead with the installation of this. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, just install uh, Python over here and kindly follow the respective same process what I'm going to um, show you right away so that we all are in sync and the prerequisite is set. So uh, we'll click on install and you'll have a exe open. So in this case, what you do is please go ahead and uh, add Python uh, exe to path. Okay, and do a custom installation over here. And we'll let this optional feature be it as it is. So please do not uh, do any changes on these. And we'll click on next. Over here, please make sure that you are installing Python 3.12 for all the respective users, guys. Okay. And once you do that, please click on install and the respective setup will proceed. So as you can see, the uh, 3.1.12.1 uh, is there. Meanwhile, what you also need to do is, uh, in case if you want to see if a respective Python is installed or not, the best way of doing it, go to your command from and do a Python slash V. So in our case, you can see it wasn't there. Okay. Um, in case once uh, it was installed, we'll see that the respective same command would get you, give you the respective Python to be present over there. Okay, so we'll wait for a couple of minutes for this to install and uh, yep, so we'll quickly see, uh, we'll wait for it to happen. So guys, um, as we can see, the setup is completed. We'll click on close here. I'll go to my command prompt and we'll quickly uh, type in just in order to see Python space minus V. As we can see, the Python V uh, shows you the respective Python already installed. Just post that, uh, we'll quickly go ahead and do just do the uh, configurations for the Python. We'll just check on the following thing. We'll quickly go ahead and uh, in this PC, I'll just uh, show this one second, folks. So just do a right click on this PC, properties. Now, once you open the properties, guys, over here, you will see an option basically to uh, in the uh, respective setting. What we do is we need to set the environment variables. Okay. So I'll quickly, you, you see an option of advanced system settings. I'll click on advanced system settings. This will open up the system properties and click on the uh, environment uh, variables. And over here, guys, what you need to take a good look at is the path uh, over here. So in case if I go ahead into path, we'll see the respective installation. I'll remove the existing Python because I was having the previous installation uh, thing. So I'll just delete it. We'll, we'll only contain these two things. What we will see is the respective Python uh, location file along with the scripts file. These two should be there. So if I quickly go ahead into my system, uh, C drive, and as we can see, what was the path? Program files. So I'll quickly see program files. Just one second. Program files. And then we'll quickly see. Python. Now you can see, uh, we'll go ahead with this Python um, 312. I'll removing the existing Python because we're not using it anymore. So um, in this case, we'll go ahead and see Python 3. Uh, 312. In this case, uh, scripts. If you can, can go ahead and scripts, you can see we have various pip libraries that you can see. So pip basically is used to install any of the dependent libraries. We are going to start basically with the installation for the machine learning. 
So we will basically uh, require Python first and then a Jupyter Notebook. So we'll use through Anaconda. So for Python installation that we have already connected, now we'll go ahead with uh, Anaconda. So if you'll just search Anaconda download, you'll be able to get free Anac uh, this Anaconda Navigator. You can go ahead and download from this link. I already have it downloaded for me uh, on my desktop. I'll quickly go ahead and show it to you for the installation. Make sure that the Python is installed prior to this. So as you can see on my screen, uh, the respective installer has launched. I'll quickly click on next. I agree for just for me. And then I'll click next and uh, add an account. Uh, just leave the default variable as it is and finish. So if you just click on install, it will go ahead and install the respective um, items over here. So while this is getting installed, we'll catch back once the installation is done. So now my installation is complete. I'll just quickly click, click next, next, and uh, I'll uh, just open up my navigator and just finish this so basically we have an anaconda navigator where we can um, basically take care of our virtual environments and the respective libraries uh, to install for example we might need tensorflow or keras any of these libraries we can install from here itself um, so let uh, let it open and then we'll just quickly connect uh, so guys, you can see in my respective left hand side, we'll see home and environments. You can go to the environments, click on environments. You can see the base environment. What we can also do is uh, you can create your own environment or you can keep the base environment. It is always better to have various environments for uh, various uh, respective runs. So uh, the simple way of creating a new environment is uh, just by um, you can see the create over here. We'll just click on create, give the name as um, code lab. Okay, I'll just give code lab as my name. Okay, and then uh, just uh, it will auto select uh, your Python library and then we'll just click on create. So using Python, so we'll see Python and just let it create. So we'll go ahead and create the Python. Um, uh, respective default Python um, and virtual environment for us for the code lab. And we'll also be going ahead and working on these, this respective virtual environment itself ahead. Now you can see my respective code lab uh, environment is set up. And what we'll do, do is you can see various libraries. There are two ways of installing. Either you can select the packages from here, or we can go ahead into the conda prompt, uh, anaconda prompt and install using the pip command. For example, if you want to install numpy, uh, I can select from here, if you can see numpy and then install, or I can go similarly for pandas and various other libraries that we'll be using. Either you can install it from here or you can use it through the uh, uh, anaconda prompt itself. We'll see how exactly we can do that. We'll quickly show it to you. So, I'll open up my we'll search Anaconda prompt. You can see on my Anaconda prompt, I'll just click on to it. It will open up my respective environment. Now remember that we need to be, as you can see, respective environment is the base environment. I need to be on my respective code labs um, uh, environment. So how do I switch environment, guys? We'll see that right now. So, um, okay, to switch the respective or to activate our respective environment, what we'll do, we'll quickly uh, write, write the command conda activate and the name of our environment. Our name of the environment was code lab. To do this, you'll see I am at code lab terminal over here. So that is where basically I'll be doing all my installation. For example, if I do pip install numpy, it will install the numpy libraries um, into it and similarly i'll i'll do the same thing for pandas so you see it is downloading and it will install ahead so let it download and then we'll quickly connect back so you guys you can see that i've installed successfully a numpy there are few dependencies that are saying we can ignore this for now similarly uh, numpy is generally used whenever we are going to work on the arrays or matrix okay Whereas pandas that we use is going to be used for the data frames to read from Excel and uh, to convert it into data frame, to work on those data frame. That is what pandas are going to be used. 
and similarly we have a library known as seaborn uh, um, that we use seaborn uh, is generally used for the various graph plots and all that we'll be using so we'll install these three libraries for now and as and when we require for example if we go ahead and we're working on tensorflow keras we'll be installing those accordingly from here so I'll quickly install Pandas and then we'll quickly also go ahead to install the uh, Seaborn and then we'll connect to open, uh, uh, we'll proceed ahead to go ahead to start the Jupyter Notebook. Yes, as you can see, Pandas is installed. We'll quickly go ahead and install us Seaborn. So pip install C-U-R-N, yeah. So, while uh, this will install, we'll connect back once these installation are done, and then we'll quickly go to the Jupyter Notebook where we are going to go ahead with the installation. Ahead. Now, guys, as you can see, we have installed our respective uh, Seaborn. Okay. One thing that I want everyone to do is uh, that we are going to require our respective um, Jupyter Notebook. So we'll quickly go ahead and open up Jupyter Notebook. I'll so as you can see either you can launch it from here or we can go ahead and uh, open up from there so uh, you can see there is an option of jupyter notebook either you can install it from here or you already have a jupyter notebook default installed so I'll quickly open up my jupyter notebook okay so as you can see we can see respective um, this is how the terminal for jupyter notebook is going to look like Guys, in the documents, I'll just go ahead and create a new folder, let's say. So new, uh, we'll say folder and we'll say um, ML code lab. Okay, I'll just give a folder. We are going to have our code over here. So we'll create a new notebook over here. So we'll create new notebook. And this is where you'll see a Jupyter notebook coming up over here. And uh, this is Jupyter Notebook where we are going to write our code. Now there are various options as you can see in my respective screen for how. So you can see here, this is a terminal uh, and this is your kernel that you see Python library three that we have. And this is on which we are going to run. For example, if I go ahead and say write print, um, like in Python we write uh, hello world, okay. So similarly, all the Python codes will work here. So we'll just go ahead and then in case you want to run, you can click on run. So you can see the respective outcome here. So all these are the various lines that you can, terminal line that you can install and work uh, work onto it. So you can do all the, any of your Python program over here, the same program, you can just give a play button. Just make sure that it is a code terminal. Markdown is basically for any textual information that you want to do, convert this uh, cell into. So these are going to be a cell structured total Jupyter notebook on which we are going to work. Next to import a library, we will use import pandas, for example, import pandas as PD and I'm just checking the respective version. So I'll use print statement PD dot two underscore version. Similarly for the numpy, import numpy as NP and we'll print. So we can see that our Pandas and uh, NumPy are installed. Similarly, we can start working on the Jupyter Notebook in the upcoming session. Okay, so I hope uh, it is clear for you guys. And in case for any queries, do comment in the respective video. If you really like the video, please like, share, and subscribe the channel, guys. And forward it to your friends. And uh, please tune into this respective channel for any further updates. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.